Could the secret to modern medicine lie in the venom of a snake or the saliva of a bat? You wouldn't think that creatures like scorpions, frogs, and sharks could hold the key to saving lives, but these animals, some feared, others endangered, carry extraordinary abilities. Abilities that, if harnessed properly, could revolutionize the way we treat diseases. Think about it for a second, venom used as medicine? Blood with healing powers? It almost sounds like science fiction. But in reality, nature's most dangerous creatures could be our best doctors. Now, what if I told you that somewhere in a rainforest, deep under the ocean, or crawling in the desert sand, there are animals with the power to heal in ways we can barely imagine? Let's dive into this wild world of nature's medical marvels and meet the creatures that could just be the superheroes of tomorrow's medicine. From snake venom to bat saliva, Let's explore how these animals are rewriting the future of healthcare. You've heard of the dangers of snake venom, right? One bite from certain species, and you're in serious trouble. But here's the crazy part. That same venom that can stop your heart in seconds might also be the key to saving it. Enter the Brazilian Pit Viper. This snake's venom contains a compound known as Captopril, which has been a game-changer for treating high blood pressure. Scientists were inspired by the way this venom lowers blood pressure in prey, and they got to thinking, could this also work for humans? And it turns out, it does. Captopril became one of the first effective treatments for hypertension. Doctors prescribe it to millions of patients around the world, all thanks to a snake that most people would run away from. So the next time you think of a venomous snake, maybe consider that its deadly bite could also be a life-saving one. bats often get a bad rap, especially in movies. They're these shadowy, spooky creatures swooping through the night, right? But the real bats? They're far more fascinating than the horror stories give them credit for. Take the vampire bat, for example. Yes, it drinks blood, but hidden in its saliva is a protein that could actually help stroke patients. This protein, charmingly called Draculin, seriously, you can't make this stuff up, prevents blood clots from forming. When someone suffers a stroke, blood clots block oxygen from getting to the brain, causing damage. Scientists realized that if they could harness Draculin's power, they could dissolve clots quickly, limiting the damage and potentially saving lives. Thanks to the humble vampire bat, researchers are developing treatments that may help stroke victims recover faster and more effectively. So, maybe it's time we stopped being so squeamish around bats, they might just save us one day. Now, let's talk sharks. They've been around for over 400 million years, surviving mass extinctions and dominating the oceans. But it's not just their staying power that's impressive, it's their biology. Sharks are nearly immune to cancer. Think about that for a second. In a world where cancer is one of the leading causes of death, Here's an animal that's almost completely unaffected by it. How? Scientists are diving deep into shark biology to figure that out. They've found that sharks have a special kind of immune system that helps them resist diseases like cancer. One particular substance found in shark liver oil is called squalamine. This compound has shown potential in fighting cancerous tumors in humans by preventing blood vessels from growing in them. Without new blood vessels, tumors can't get the nutrients they need to grow. Sharks may not be the friendliest creatures in the sea, but their natural resilience could be key to unlocking future cancer treatments. Who knew that the ocean's apex predator could be one of our greatest allies in the fight against one of humanity's deadliest diseases? Frogs might seem pretty harmless, hopping around ponds and croaking away at night, but these little amphibians have a secret weapon, their skin. Certain species of frogs produce antimicrobial peptides, tiny proteins that are naturally designed to fend off bacteria, viruses, and fungi. In the wild, this helps them survive in some pretty nasty environments, where infections could easily take them down. Researchers, always on the lookout for new ways to fight antibiotic-resistant bacteria, took notice. They've isolated compounds from frog skin that have the potential to fight off some of the world's most dangerous bacteria, including MRSA, 
a superbug that's resistant to many traditional antibiotics. Imagine the next generation of antibiotics coming not from a lab, but from the skin of a brightly colored tree frog in the Amazon rainforest. It's like nature's pharmacy, waiting for us to crack open its secrets. Frogs might be small, but in the world of medicine, they're making a giant leap forward. Meet the Gila Monster, a hefty, slow-moving lizard that calls the deserts of the southwestern U.S. home. With its bead-like skin and venomous bite, it's not the type of animal you'd expect to hold the key to managing diabetes. But appearances can be deceiving. The Gila Monster's saliva contains a protein called Exendin-4, which has become the foundation for a drug that helps regulate insulin levels in people with type 2 diabetes. Here's how it works. Exendin-4 helps the body produce insulin after meals, lowers blood sugar levels, and even slows down digestion, helping patients feel full longer. This has been a massive breakthrough for people living with diabetes, a condition that affects millions around the world. So, while the Gila monster might not be the cuddliest creature, its venom is helping patients lead healthier lives, and it's a reminder that sometimes, nature's deadliest creatures can be its most generous healers. The sea cucumber is one of those animals you might walk right past at the beach and never give a second thought. They look like squishy, harmless blobs, just lounging around on the ocean floor. But don't be fooled, these guys have a hidden talent. When attacked, sea cucumbers can regenerate lost body parts. Like, whole chunks of their bodies. And they do this using a compound called frondocyte A. This ability to heal and regenerate has captured the attention of researchers looking to develop treatments for wounds and even immune-related diseases. Early studies suggest that frondocyte A might help boost the immune system, fight inflammation, and speed up healing processes in humans. It's still early days, but the potential is huge. Who would have thought that a squishy sea creature could inspire the next big leap in medical science? If you ever visit Komodo Island, you'll find yourself face to face with the largest lizard on Earth, the Komodo dragon. These beasts are terrifying, no doubt about it. They can grow up to 10 feet long, and their bite is downright lethal thanks to a mix of venom and bacteria-filled saliva. But here's the twist. While their mouths are a breeding ground for bacteria, the dragons themselves don't get sick from it. In fact, their immune systems are so strong that scientists are studying their blood to figure out how they manage to stay infection-free in such a hostile environment. Researchers have isolated peptides from Komodo dragon blood that seem to have powerful antimicrobial properties. If these peptides can be harnessed for human use, they could provide a new line of defense against antibiotic-resistant infections, one of the biggest challenges facing modern medicine. So, while Komodo dragons might not be the friendliest creatures, their blood could help us in the fight against superbugs that our current antibiotics can't handle. Nature has been working on its medical toolkit for millions of years, and we've only scratched the surface of what it has to offer. From the venomous bite of a snake to the regenerative abilities of a sea cucumber, animals around the world are offering us clues to solve some of our most pressing health problems. As we continue to push the boundaries of medicine, perhaps the greatest breakthroughs will come not from high-tech labs or cutting-edge machines, but from the natural world around us. We just need to learn how to listen, and sometimes, that means looking to the most unlikely of creatures. Could the future of medicine be lurking in the shadows, flying through the night, or slithering underfoot. One thing's for sure, we're only at the beginning of this wild medical journey, and the animals of the world still have a lot to teach us.